I'm Gail Locke McDowell, author of Cracking Coding Interview. In this video, I'm going to build a queue using two stacks. So what does it even mean to implement a queue with two stacks? Well, what it means is something like this. We need a MyQueue class. We can use two stacks potentially for storage. We're certainly going to need at least one. And then we need to implement NQ, which just adds an item. Peak, which returns the oldest item. And DQ, that returns the oldest item and also removes it. So suppose we had everything in stack one. Well, stacks store with the newest items on top. So the oldest item is at the bottom. So actually I'm going to rename this stack newest on top. So if we want to DQ, if we want to get the oldest item, we need to pop everything off of this, off of stack newest on top and put it somewhere, at least temporarily. And then the oldest item will be that very bottom item. Well, where would we put it? Well, the obvious place is put it into stack two. So stack two is now going to contain the items in the opposite order. So once we do all that, it will actually have the oldest items on top. So it's going to reverse the whole order. So let me actually rename it that way. Stack oldest on top and stack newest. Okay. So one option here for implementation is always add things to stack newest on top. Um, so push there. And then when we do peak or we do DQ, we could add from move elements from stack newest to stack oldest, and then, you know, return or do, um, stack newest or stack oldest on top. Um, dot peak and then move elements back. And we can do the same idea here. So move everything from stack newest to stack oldest, but now we're going to actually pop from the oldest. So we'll have the oldest items on top and then we can move everything back. So let's picture ourselves doing something like that. Suppose we take these elements one, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we get a pop operation or uh, sorry, a DQ operation. Well, we need to DQ that one, not the five, not the last element added. So we can take everything from stack newest, push it onto stack oldest, and it'll go on, on in the reverse order. So we'll get five, four, three, two, one, and there it is, our next item. Now we could shift everything back and that's fine. We could take that approach. But what if we get another pop up or uh, DQ operation right after that? Well, we don't want to have to move everything one way, move it back, blah, blah. So we can actually just, you know, what if we just kept stack oldest on top as is? What if we didn't move the elements back? So what if we didn't do this? Well, let's, let's imagine that. Let's imagine if we just kept that, kept stack newest on top or stack oldest on top with that five, four, three, two, one. Well, now if we want, we have future peak operations and future DQ operations, we can just move directly from that. And that would be actually be great. But what about NQ will mess up that order? Well, let's picture that. So we have six, seven, eight come in. Well, stack newest on top is going to store still with the stack newest on the newest items on the top. Stack oldest is still going to have actually the oldest items on top. So actually that's, fine. As it turns out, we don't have to move everything from back into the old array, old stack. So all we have to do actually is when we get a new element in, we just add it to the newest element. When we peak or DQ, we add things to stack oldest. We, we peak or DQ from stack oldest. So all we have to do here is just, Hey, when we, if in case stack oldest is empty, that's when you have to shift elements back and forth. So I'm just going to call a shift stacks method on both of these. And then I need to go implement that shift stacks method. And what it's going to do is say, if stack oldest on top, if it's, if it's not empty, we're actually fine. Cause we can just DQ directly from there. If it is empty, then move everything from stack newest on top into stack oldest. So while stack newest on top is empty, 
is false, so or sorry, while it's not empty, then stack oldest on top dot push. So push from the pop top and push everything over. So pop an element from stack newest and push it onto stack oldest. And that's all we have to do. So now let's run this and see how we did. Oop, got two little errors. Oh, of course, that should have a return statement there. And we have one other little, oh, just crossing my returns. Try that once more. Perfect, it worked. So, you know, this problem, one thing that you'll notice in a lot of problems is that sometimes problems are a little bit confusing until, not surprisingly, you figure out exactly what they're talking about. So when we get asked, implement a queue with two stacks, hey, look, your interviewer should be in the room with you. So ask them, understand exactly what that means. In this case, what it means is we need to have a MyQ class that can use potentially two different stacks for storage. And we need to implement DQ, peak, and NQ so that they operate the same way that they will in a, in a stack. The difference is the efficiency might be a little bit slower. And one of the kind of tricks in this problem is we actually don't have to move everything back. So stack newest will maintain itself with the newest items on top. The stack oldest will maintain it with the oldest items on top. The only time we shift elements from one to the other is when stack oldest runs out of elements. And that's when we shift everything from stack newest to stack oldest. So the takeaway I want you to have in this problem is, you know, first, like all stack and queue problems, be very, very careful for when things are em empty, are you checking those conditions properly? But also when you get a problem that's confusing, understand exactly what is it talking about. So with that in mind, uh, keep on practicing and good luck.